Okay, I really like this problem because we have a lot of stuff going on here. First of all, this is in quadratic form. It's just very hard to see it. So let's let um, our u equal this middle term here. Hopefully then that will all work out nicely. Um, to find out what u squared is, we would have to square that and hopefully it's going to work out. When I take a power to a power, we have to multiply, correct? So in this case, this is very nice because here we can replace this with 4 and then instead of x to the negative 2, that would be u squared plus 13. Instead of x to the negative 1, we've said that's really u minus 12 equals 0. Now, here we are to where we need to factor and solve. In this case, this one may be a little bit more difficult to deal with, um, but remember you've got all kinds of factoring techniques that you can use. I am actually going to do product sum on this one. If I multiply the first times the last terms, then that would be 4 times negative 12 gives us a negative 48 and then I can um, think of factors of negative 48 that would give me a 13. So it would be 1 times 48, but that won't work. 2 times um, 24, but that won't work. 3 times 16, that will work. If I were to replace the middle term with a, um, a minus 3u and a plus 16u, then that would give me the positive 13 in the middle. Minus 12 equals 0. And now we have four terms, so we can factor by grouping. So a lot of review in this problem. So in the first two problems, we can pull out a u. So we would have 4u minus 3. In the second two terms, we have a common 4. So if we pull a 4 out, we would have 4u minus 3. And now that gives us a common factor of 4u minus 3. So if we pull that out, we have left u plus 4. Now that is fully factored and we're ready to solve. So if I set each factor equal to 0, and then I need to um, go ahead and solve each one, that would be 4u equals 3, or u equals 3 fourths. Over here, if I subtract 4 from both sides, we get u equals negative 4. Now, okay, I've run out of room, so I'm going to have to take my problems up here because we didn't start off with u's. We're solving for x. So I really need to replace u with x to the negative 1 would equal 3 fourths, and x to the negative 1 would equal negative 4. Now there are a couple of ways that you can approach this. The easiest one though is to say, what does the negative exponent mean? Well it means things are flipped over, right? Another way you could approach it would be, I want this to be x to the first power. In order to make that happen, we would have to raise it to a negative 1, because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So that would leave us with just an x over here on the left hand side. But, as you all well know, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I also have to raise the right hand side to the negative one power, which means that I need to flip it. So that answer would be x equals four thirds. We would do the same thing over here. If I raise both sides to the negative one power to get x to the first, then negative 4 flipped over would be negative 1 fourth. And again, check your answers. Make sure you put both of these in one at a time into the original problem and make sure that it makes a true statement. In this case, it will. Those are both correct answers to this problem.